recipe for white chocolate icicles. I have a little tree behind me and I was going to start decorating it for the holidays and I made some meringue ornaments and I put them on and I said, hmm, need something more. So I'm gonna make some white chocolate icicles to hang from the tree. They're also edible, so that's the good part. I've got three and a half cups of flour here and to that I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, get rid of that, and a teaspoon of baking powder. Give that a little mix and we'll put that aside for the moment. Now the other ingredients for this recipe are three quarters of a cup of room temperature butter, a cup of sugar, one whole egg, half a cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one cup of white chocolate chips, good quality, not the wafers, good chocolate, that I've melted and I've let it cool slightly. So we're going to start by putting our butter I might need that butter our sugar and we'll put all the white chocolate in at this point you can see where the white chocolate is already starting to harden around the edges Be careful when you're melting your white chocolate because white chocolate, unlike dark chocolate, will have a tendency to burn quicker, more quickly and solidify like this is trying to, but we'll get it in time. So now I'm going to put this in the mixer and I'm going to blend this up well before I start adding the sugar. Give it a little scrape down. I'll add a little bit of the milk. And now I'll start adding the flour. More milk. Some more flour. And the rest of the milk. And now the rest of the flour. dough we're gonna roll it into um, little thin strips and then we're gonna twist them together to form an icicle but before we do that this dough is really too soft so I'm going to have to put it in the refrigerator for about four hours or more you can do this like the day before and then form your icicles the next day so let's just blend that up well
now I will just put it back in this bowl from the flour, cover it up with plastic wrap, and refrigerate it, like I said, for a minimum of four hours or overnight. It'll make rolling those ropes of dough so much easier because really this, this dough right now is so soft. You'd be just wiping your hands every five minutes because it'd be all sticky. So that's what I'll do. Our white chocolate icicle dough has been in the refrigerator. It's nice and cold. And what I've done is I've formed it into um, balls of about what, an inch in diameter. And that just speeds up the forming for me. I've started making some because I'm not going to have you, you know, sit here and watch me make trays of these. You only need to see me do one. I'm going to, on a very lightly floured surface, take one of the balls and I cut it in half. And then I roll it in a little bit of the flour. You see, if I use too much flour, it doesn't roll very easily. And I want to make a rope approximately five inches long. And I make two ropes. You can see what I've done on, on the tray. That's good right there. Just start it. Very simple, it's just, it's one of those kind of things, you know, you put on some music, get a cup of coffee, and just make cookies. All right, so, then I put them side by side, and I put the two ends and kind of flatten it. That's gonna be the open end where I put the uh, hole for the string, or the ribbon. And then, just twist them over. And then at the very end, Try to make it into a point. You know, not a sharp point, you know, just angled down. Then you get a toothpick, and at the top where I flattened it, go in and we make a hole. And that's where we will put our uh, ribbon so that we can hang them on the tree later. These are not done. I mean, they're going to get an icing and some glitter too. So it goes on the pan. Now, my oven is at 375 degrees. I've got another tray over there, and I'm gonna put these in for approximately five to seven minutes until they just start to get a little brown, and I'm going to take them out and cool them. And I'll finish these later on, but five to seven minutes. The white chocolate icicles are out of the oven, and I let them cool completely. And now we're going to make a glaze to go over them. But I also wanted to show you how you can put a ribbon through them. I'm going to do the ribbons later, but I wanted to show you one for now so that it can be hung on a tree. You might need to take um, a toothpick after they're baked and kind of make the hole a little bit bigger. Just be careful. So now in my mixer, I've got two cups of confectioner's sugar. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of regular milk. Before I add the second one, I'm going to add just a couple of drops of almond extract. And then I have for our twinkle on the icicles, white sanding sugar that has a nice shine and it'll look pretty on a tree. You'll see the, the, the uh, twinkle in it on the tree once you have it up. I'm only doing part of the recipe for you. I got 50 cookies out of this. And just enough milk into the sugar to make it like a glaze. taking a lot more milk because you want to be able to paint paint it onto the cookies almost there
Okay. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I believe when I told you they were going into the oven, I said five to seven minutes. I should have said nine to 11 minutes. It's a big difference. These took about, just about 10. Okay. Get rid of that. And now, paint it on. This actually could have been just a little bit thinner. And then you glitter right away. And there you have a white chocolate icicle that you can devour right now, or you can put on your tree. And these freeze beautifully. They can, it's a well-sealed container for up to three months. So try the white chocolate icicles.